Welcome back. Now, Sundogs TV recently sat down with defenseman and new captain of the Arizona Sundogs, Tyler Butler, where we ask him, who is Tyler Butler? Well, Tyler Butler, uh, kind of born and raised in Canada, Ontario, Canada. Um, I've moved down since, kind of just going wherever this sport takes me. I've got a beautiful wife, Holly. Uh, I've got a three-year-old, Tegan, two-year-old, Fallon, and a six-month-year-old named Rylan. All girls, and uh, so it's me and four girls in the house. Thoroughly enjoy it. Um, the moment we got here, when people found out we played for the Sundogs, uh, my family, it was great. We were accepted. People, you know, wanted to help us out and do what they had to do. It's a, I like how it's a small-knit community who cares about what goes on here. Ooh. Obviously, uh, from looking at my stats, I, I like the power play. Um, I'm just going to guy who's going to try and get the puck on net as much as I can and make a good first pass and give it to our forwards. Um, I'm going to fight if I have to. Uh, if someone runs our goalie, someone takes a cheap shot, you know, I'm big enough. I'm not the greatest fighter in the world. I'll probably take a few licks, but uh, it just kind of shows the guys that, you know, he's a gamer, he's here to play. And, yeah, I just try and – I'm going to compete every night. Um, I'm just going to try and, and do what I can to help the team win no matter what it is. Whether it's a, a game where you're playing well defensively and not doing anything offensively, or it's a game where you've got 10 shots and you end up with four assists or something like that. It just You have to figure out what you're going to do that night better and kind of go with it. Being a Sundogs captain is uh, Obviously, with there only being one before in, in Chris, it's, it's big shoes to fill, definitely. I think I learned a lot last year uh, with what not to do. And I'm really enjoying having Marco and, and Chris above me to kind of help me relegate the room when need be. But it's, it's something you take seriously. Um, it's an honor to be a captain on any team. You look at captains from any NHL team. They've, they've done something right during their career. So... It's definitely something special to take into account. I don't know if there's a lot different from the captains and other teams because I played against most of those guys the last eight years. Um, you know, take this game here, uh, Scott Ray for Rapid City. I played with him for four of my seven years. Uh, we're both from the same area. We're both cut from the same cloth. We both like to go out and just work our butts off and and kind of lead by example. If you have to fight, you have to fight. Uh, if you have to step up and scold somebody in the room, it needs to be done. You, you just have to put yourself in, in a position where guys respect you with what you do on the ice and you're allowed to, you know, have a little talk with them in the room when need be. Uh, very gratifying, like I said before. Uh, Chris is a great person. I got a chance to know him. I came here in the summer in August. Played a few rounds of golf, and our philosophy for hockey is, is pretty much the same. Uh, we expect a lot out of ourselves and uh, expect a lot out of our teammates as well. So with his name being up in the rafters, um, I'm not going to be Chris Bartoloni. For sure, there's no chance I can be. I'm just going to be me, and uh, hopefully that's what this team needs. I think just building on our recent success and just keep it going. Um, there's going to be peaks and valleys through a season. We had a huge, huge valley right at the start of the season. Now we're starting to climb a little bit. It's basically trying to be as even keel as you can throughout a season. Uh, ups, if you win, you know, say a little. If you lose, say less. It's just simple. We just want to go out and kind of do our job. Um, we, we've had tremendous mental focus in terms of playing the game and just kind of worrying about what the Sundogs can do. Um, and I'm fortunate not just to be the only leader. We've got about five or six guys who can speak up and who go out and can lead by example and who the young guys. We've got a lot of rookies. we got close to eight or ten, which for this league to have true rookies that many, it's kind of unheard of. But they're, they're, they listen well and they work their, work their tails off, which is nice. I think just finding our identity has changed. Um, 
you know, we had a few home games at the start where we tried to impress and do too much. We hit the road for, I think it was, I don't know how many games, so a lot, but we found ourselves, we're going to just be a hard working team. Um, there's not going to be tic-tac-toe plays that are going to happen every goal. It's just going to happen when it happens, but I, we started to gel. We got some guys back from injuries. Like We went through a lot of injuries the first month of the season where teams do not go through all year, let alone in the first month. So, And it was veteran guys and guys who we were counting on to play key roles. So having those guys back and getting some fresh bodies and new faces in here has certainly helped the morale. We've got a great room. Um, it's a really cool bunch of guys who, you know, have fun with each other, uh, can zing each other every now and again, you know, have a couple laughs, but it's done. You know, it, it's a good laugh, and then we go out and we battle for each other every night, which is, which is great. The shoot check, for those who don't know, and I think Scotty found out the hard way at least once last trip, you need to be aware of your surroundings in a restaurant or you will end up with ketchup or ranch or mustard on your shoe by someone who crawls commando underneath and hits you on your shoe and then the whole rest or all the boys will start clinking their glasses for a toast everyone pushes back and there's a the one poor guy with ranch or mustard or ketchup all over his shoe <laughs> some guys take it well some guys don't so if you don't take it well, you usually get hit again in the same road trip because they want to get you really going. So I'm too old to be going on the floor, so I just sit back and watch. We were laughing about that. I was going to say to stop drinking, but I don't drink anymore because I've got three kids under three. Um, probably not order McDonald's when I take them for a Happy Meal. But no, I'm... I'm uh, I'm pretty laid back. I don't know. I don't really deal with the New Year's resolutions because it's just kind of teasing and lying to myself for that first three days and then it's already done. So, I'm not a very good golfer, but if you want to play for money, I'm more than happy to try. Um, I'm actually a uh, PGA of America professional as well. Uh, I got that pro card two years ago. Um, I enjoy golfing. Uh, the kids are a little young right now to be playing more than a couple times a week, but for the most part, love the golf, and I'm all about my girls. Uh, my wife's been in a, a real tremendous support over the last few years and letting me keep going with my career and play while she looks after the girls. And my girls just love that their daddy gets to play hockey and they get to come watch. So as long as Bernie stays about a section over and doesn't scare him because he's a big scary dog, but uh, I'm just a laid-back family guy who... Uh, Loves to play hockey still. Tyler Butler really is making the captaincy his own after taking over for Chris Bartoloni, and he's doing a very good job of it. Now we're going to take one more break here on Sundogs TV, come back with more.